Same cup. Nope, neither did I. Three, two. What one. do I do? Hi, I'm Javier. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gretchen. And I'm Melanie from Live Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really starting to concentrate on not spilling my beer. <laughs> we missed you last week. We did. You know, Snoot did a good good job sitting in for Aww. you, but he was way quiet compared to you. Yeah. Like, he didn't say anything the whole time. I totally missed being here. It felt really weird. Yeah. yeah. I had important things to do, unicorn things to do. Unicorn, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I don't like it when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Yes, yes, yes it is. Well, it was another wonderful week, so mm -hmm. cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Oh. It was tiring. It was tiring. We had so we had a lot of deliveries. Um, the guys were kept busy. We were kept busy. You were gone a couple of days. Mm -hmm. You are like top salesperson of the month this month. You what? got beer on your face. I got beer on my face. <laughs> yes, you did. I oh, got no. it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah. So it was a wonderful week. But thank thank you to all of you. Oh, um, we also we won business of the year. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm gonna brag a little bit about that. You guys. That is awesome. Woohoo! That's right. Oh, oh, it was very much an honor. Uh, the Small oh, Business Jesus Development God. Center here at NMSUA, uh, Trish Livingston, is our hero. Mm -hmm. She's helped us in so many ways, just getting through the years and processing, going from sole proprietor to LLC and and helping us through the COVID months. Yep. Um, so she's just been our strong man up yeah. there, and we truly appreciate her Thank a lot. you to the SBDC. Thank yes, you thank very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then this week's beers are from Cloudcroft Brewery. We're doing mm -hmm. something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Cloudcroft Brewing. We've got um, this one is the Steam Engine Stout. This is a pretty good, pretty good chocolatey tasting stout. It's I'm, awesome. Yeah, look at I mean, that's that's a lot of head on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I poured it a little better. I'm a little gentler. She just was like going like glug 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 glug. Greg's <laughs> tried to do that too. I'm not. I, I think I got. That one's a little, a little less. Because I'm so magical. Oh. I think if you had this much magic going on, your beer would be that magical too. There's a bunch of magic. Yeah. It yeah. is. We had a customer that uh, I was like apologizing for the unicorn <laughs> horn because she really wore that horn all day long. This is how I Friday. Yeah, this is how she Fridays. And uh, the lady was like, no, we need more people like her. <laughs> I had two, <laughs> we had two customers back to back <sighs> that were like encouraging of the unicorn. It needs to be expression. the unicorn yes. nest, the unicorn nest, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just keep yeah. adding to it. It's, yeah, a see, lot. He thought I went and like bought all this for today's show, <laughs> and I was like, no, this I, I this is an ongoing thing. Like, yes. this is like I mostly have a closet of costumes. <laughs> I have some normal clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's such a. I don't space. understand. <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of people out there that understand. <laughs> That's, There's, I've yeah. been told. I'm going to share my beer because uh -huh. I, I decided to try something else besides stout because we had two stouts and I wanted to represent more of the beers. Mm -hmm. So I'm drinking the Sunset Amber. Is it so, yummy? It is. It looks like a really good amber. Yeah, and it's one of those when you drink it at first, it's very light, and then your beer flavor just really rolls forward. Ooh, it's yummy. so good. Yummy. Yeah. Our first beer was an amber. Yes. Yeah. Hey, this yeah. is the way to go. If you like a light mm -hmm. beer, it's good mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, yep. it's kind of uh, condescending when you look at the coloring of it, but it's beautiful. It's actually very yummy, very flavorful. And that can matches your nails. Oh, yeah. Oh, unicorn nails, right? <laughs> right? I, yeah. okay, so I have this fixation with doing nails now. And so now that I figured out how to do them, I'm getting really loud in options and colors and this, that, and the other. You're just getting loud I on have your nails. To have those. Yeah, these right here are definitely male nails. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so See? getting those done. Yes, yeah, I will do those I'm for on you. board. Not at my house. Yes, at our house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you're, all you're, in. You're I am to all my in. house. Not your house, not my house. <laughs> So we're wearing our beads because it was Fat Tuesday this past Tuesday, and we didn't get to make we didn't get to make any fun videos because why didn't we make a fun video? I think we were busier than heck, huh? We've been really busy this week. Yeah, it was yeah. Tuesday. Tuesdays are busy. Yeah, yeah, but we wanted to show um, our support for Mardi Gras in Louisiana because mm -hmm. this year and last year too, Mardi Gras was really affected. Mm -hmm. um, I did live in Louisiana for a little bit of my lifetime, and. Um, I have been to Mardi Gras and I know the importance of it for the local economy and local businesses and mm -hmm. you know and the pride of, uh, of Mardi Gras for that state and area so yeah. 
Yeah. What I think was really cool was what I shared with you guys. What's that? Uh, what was, you know, instead of being able to do the floats. Oh, with the houses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They did house floats. Did you get, yeah, you got to see it, right? Yeah. We, yeah. well, on the news. Yeah. yeah. They have, and, and like Mel says, you know, like it's their billion dollar year making they, event. It's a huge event. They lost hundreds of millions of dollars over yeah. the past two years. So yeah, yeah. And just with that one event, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they raise over a billion dollars every year. And be, what Mel's talking about as far as them having their houses decorated by floats, it's people walk down the sidewalk mm -hmm. so they can stay masked, stay apart from each other and still be able to appreciate the artists, which they did raise money to pay to come and do these things. So they are still raising money, but mm -hmm. they yeah. got the it's house going on and the food. I mean, the, the sounds, I mean, it's, in, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. We want to go one time. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been yet, but Yeah, we it's do on the go. bucket list. It's mm -hmm. definitely on the bucket list. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. so. Fish bowl, as you guys know, this is where we wind down our week. We unwind from our week, and we actually, we used to do this alone, and, and I mean, in the office, and just trying to talk to each other, and kind of spin spin what was that, whatever was asked of us, and now we share it with you mm -hmm. as we drink beer, same as we always do, and um, we kind of just go through the questions and whatever research we've done, and then uh, we are implementing a new fun, Thing that was a hit when uh, we did it two weeks ago. Um, we did our bloopers because as you guys know we do a lot of videos, a lot of videos, and so we put our bloopers in. Uh, well we put the blooper of Mel having a little accident over there in the boutique and <laughs> people commented on that so we're going to go ahead and put that at the end of these videos and what we'll do is we'll add our bloopers from or our funniest parts from this past week onto the end of this video and uh, we'll do that as a section of this so now it'll be questions it'll be what we learned and then it'll be the bloopers of the week and Javier is the blooper of the week so you gotta watch this. yeah we've got I've got some good bloopers <laughs> and then she had she had an, a, a yeah she had an interesting one as well. you have I a think blooper too? well I also yes there was definitely a blooper this week but you missed a very important part of the introduction which is the crazy introductions. There's always something interesting in yeah. the introduction. Always. Provided by moi. Yes. Always. Which is our blame. <laughs> <laughs> she has Mardi she's, Gras us. <laughs> she's our. And we didn't have to show anything to get these beads. Mel was just super nice. Yep. These but, beads were um, actually a gift to me from Bob and Becky Coulter. So thank you, Bob and Becky. We didn't have to show they, anything? They uh, went to... <laughs> yeah. Keep if your you're buttons. wondering where we got this bling. <laughs> Dang it, I should have made up a story for that. Yeah, um, you ruined it. Well, just think about what Bob and Becky had to do for this stuff. Yeah, I've got like some... 20 more pounds back there. It's a oh huge bag, so... This is some good bling, so yeah. Some, yeah. some good bling here. Mm -hmm. All I gotta say is it took me back to childhood years, and I want to sit here and go, I pity the fool. <laughs> if you guys know Mr. T, I grew up with Mr. T on TV, and, and now I feel like Mr. T. I got the bling. Yeah, yeah there you are. I need the mohawk. Though. I like right. this. Anyways, all right. So the van. Yes. <laughs> Starting with the questions. <laughs> well, the van is a huge part of his bling. You yes, can't okay. be Mr. T without the van. That's right. Okay. <laughs> the first, the first question. I heard you say on a video that you sell Flexibed medical bases. What do those do? that your normal bases don't. So this one, th this one is kind of a strange one for us. Um, we are a signed vendor for them. You guys, you guys have seen the catalog, right? No? Okay, all right. I don't know what we're so, talking about. So I will, I will handle this one. So yes, on, on a video. For all of us. Yes, on a video several months ago, I uh, talked about carrying Flexibed because I carried Flexibed for a uh, there was there was a, one customer that just had to have it, and she couldn't find it anywhere. So I signed up with the vendor, and we bought the, the we bought a flexibed for her. And what this does is it's a adjustable base, and this is completely different from our regular adjustable bases. It goes up to a normal bed height, but it goes down. It adjusts down to whatever bed height you want it at. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. great for yeah. wheelchair patients. Yeah, that's exactly oh, yeah. what it's we for. We just recently sold one of those. Right, right. now you're remembering yeah. it. Now yeah, remember. yeah. yeah. Now, now you're remembering it. Okay. Now. So this thing goes up from a, I believe the minimal height, was, well, it's zero clearance, so it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. So the height of your bed, so the height of the bed that we sold her was an 11 inch bed, so it went down to 11 inches, and then it goes down up to the height of 23, 24 inches, which is your basic bed height. This thing also did the basic head up and foot up, 
It was amazing. Um, heavier than all be. Um, that is, that's really the reason why we haven't gotten big into it because we're still having to figure that one out because that required a lot of muscle. And, and and we're still developing Mr. that part. Mr. T. Yeah, yeah, we have whole Mr. T muscle, yeah. We're gonna give our delivery crew the beads later. Yeah, 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 they yeah, they'll need it. But yeah, so yes, we are in Flexibed dealer. Yes, it. we can order whatever you want. We don't have it quite nailed down yet as far as it being like one of our, yay, big videos, whatever. We don't have it that far nailed down, but we can get them for you. We'll, we'll update you with a new item video when we do, okay? That's awesome. All right. Great okay. question. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you guys feel about a base like that? I know you said for wheelchair patients. Well, I'm personally um, affected by that, so I love it. My <laughs> mother is wheelchair bound, so what a great option. Um, and we have sold to quite a few patients that happen to be, and I'm going to say patients just because it's a medical situation. Right. Um, that do have wheelchairs and it's a hard thing for them to find something they can transfer from from their chair to a bed and most of them do require a transfer board um so with that leveling where you can bring it up and down it's no longer <clears throat> about how can we lower the power base and the mattress and everything involved um to match the level of the transfer board. So that is genius. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's really important too. Like for instance, John's mom is very little. She's a little gal. And I've met uh, several mamas that are, they're, they're little bitties. Um, not that John's mom is a little bitty yet, but very short. And I think that crawling into a big, huge mattress or up on the bed you know, having the ability to lower your bed or adjust your bed depending on what you mm -hmm. need for those mm -hmm. circumstances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people are, you know, all different sizes. Yep. Really yep. tall, really short. So. Yeah, when I saw this, mm -hmm. I thought it was genius. But we ran into the hiccup of on delivery, it took three guys to deliver this thing because it is, wow. it's seriously <clears throat> a lot of metal. Well, you got to figure it's on scissors. Uh, so it, it was on scissors and they're covered scissors. Very, very interesting design. And it, to raise up and down, mm -hmm. and it was, it was seriously super heavy. There was a lot of metal. Um, it was, it looked just like one of our premium bases. I mean, it was this thing was pretty. It was oh. really pretty. Um, you couldn't tell it was a medical device, but I'm telling you, it, it, it's worthwhile. We just got to figure out that last little bit of delivery. Well, I tell you, for people that still want independence in their home, this is a great option. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. I yep, love it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on to another question. Did you put any fun ones in here this week? No? <clears throat> I'm there might saying be. what there, I put in there. There might be a couple. <laughs> okay, ooh. How much of what you sell is made in the USA? Well, how do you know a percentage? I mean, as far as the mattresses, just about all of them. Mm -hmm. Almost all of our mattresses are made in the USA. Um, there's one that's not. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't know as far and as like our furniture, I don't think, I think that comes from Vietnam and the United States. And then we have multiple products in the boutique. Don't even get started there. That's that. I, <laughs> <isn't>, <laughs> we have thousands of things in the boutique, so it'd be really hard to dissect that question. That's an interesting question, and that question is very pertinent to the times that we live right in right now. now. Yep. I yep. think that that question would not have come up, um, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, pre-COVID-19. I think yep. consumers right now are very, mm -hmm, they're, they're really considering where are our goods produced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's been very eye-opening um, for a lot of different reasons. You know, I think we, you know, aside from political reasons, I think that we could look at um, the chain of distribution and how products get to us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, I mean, it, it, it spans the globe. There are political reasons for some individuals. There are reasons for distribution on the availability of the product. 
Um, I even have had customers uh, concerned with uh, warranty issues, uh, manufacturing parts. Right. But I am seeing a lot of our customers coming in, and when we are able to sell them a bed that is um, made by Sutherland and it's made in the U.S. and that the steel that is incorporated into that bedding is smelted and made into the steel, there's a lot of pride there. Yep. Um, they're like sold, you know. They, they re really want to yes. bring back manufacturing to our com country. Um, I think some of our linens and, and some of our pillows, you know, they are made overseas, but the ones that are made overseas um, or even in possibly China, those have been Serta Pure Serta Pure is certified, mm -hmm. so they're not going to off-gas any formaldehydes or toxic chemicals. Um, and for instance, Maloof. Um, <clears throat> I think the most important thing to consider with Maloof is that they are changing some of their manufacturing um, from China. But even though it says China on there, what I really want people to pay attention to is that it's part of the Maloof Foundation. Right. And a part of your uh, pro when you purchase a Maloof That's product. True. A part of your purchase goes to the Malou Foundation, and that is a global network that is giving money to support um, safe housing children and adults that are victims of sex trafficking, okay. and also the judicial process of that, of bringing justice uh, to to those victims and, and the individuals involved in that. So you, you may be purchasing a product from China, but you're also supporting a much greater business which is US based so don't forget that when you purchase those products you're still supporting a US company they just happen to, to have some of their manufacturing made overseas mm -hmm. but they're doing good work mm -hmm. so I can answer the question because I get asked that question a lot too mm -hmm. so of the mattresses I already told you one mm -hmm. is made in China okay of the furniture and God knows we try to get a lot of American made furniture of the furniture we are still at about 75% made out of the states, 25% made in the states. We are trying to change that, but COVID has made it quite interesting. It made it difficult, very, yeah. very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from logging to, to smelting to um, foam supplies, everything has gotten harder this year, and the American manufacturing um, they fell behind. They fell months behind. And so they're trying to catch up. They're doing a darn good job of it. But um, it's still going to be a little bit before we get to uh, my goal. My goal for us, and, and, and I haven't discussed this because it's, it's something that, that I'm just inside of me. I would really like to see us at a 60-40. 60, 60 U.S., 40 China or outside. And that would be a really nice way of doing it, just because it's so hard to find American-based manufacturing that we can all afford. Mm -hmm. And that, that, would that be key for you guys? Is mm -hmm. some, I mean, that, that, that's key, right? I mean, it has to be something we can all afford, because sure, we can find any American manufacturer, but yep. holy cow, there's some really expensive American manufacturing. It's expensive yep. manufacturing. It's, ex it's just plain and simple it's becoming expensive to find furniture i mean even if you go to a thrift store the prices at thrift stores have increased yep. due to demand yep. i mean oh, yeah. across the board we're seeing changes so your unicorn stuff's getting more expensive <laughs> no, like i said magic. before i've had this for a long time <laughs> <laughs> Just keep unicorn adding. is magic oh excuse me okay <laughs> all right going on to the next question we're talking furniture <laughs> <laughs> all right so next question, what is better for an apartment, a sectional or a sofa love seat? What do you sell more of? Hmm. You want me to ask that? Which How one? Who, the which, apartment. Who wants yeah. this? Who wants this? Oh wait, you answered first. The unicorn gets this one. Again, well, how big is your apartment? <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, and storage availability. What do you mean by that? I would mean, does it include some storage? We have some sectionals that include storage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some what you're talking about. Okay. storage where you can hide stuff. Yeah, like you, for instance. Mm -hmm. I have hidden yeah. in there before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've witnessed that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there, too. The fair day is there. perfect. Uh -huh. uh huh. You can just crawl in there. You can hide anything in there, you know. Uh, blankets, unicorns. Blankets and unicorns in the storage of the sectional. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so what's if your it answer? Sits, it sits. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what's your answer to that? Um, well, my experience of when I lived in an apartment years ago, um, 
usually the apartment sizes are smaller to the point where you're very limited. Um, the apartment I lived in, I could fit a love seat and a, and a recliner chair. Literally, that was it. Um, but the designs that they have, like Melanie was saying, with some of the sectionals are actually meant to be three seated. One side will be a chase, then you'll have a middle cushion, and then you'll have a right cushion. So with that, it does offer you a couch seating as well as storage, like she was saying, in, in the actual chase lounge. But it also has the availability of pulling out into a bed, so it's like a guest bed. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that I had when I was in my apartment, though, is not just a limitation to where you can set the furniture with the size of the furniture, but a walking space in between all of it in the process. Right. So mm -hmm. it really depends, like Mel said, on the way it's set up. If your apartment gives you at least two walls to build on, you can pretty much choose whichever one you want, um, whether it's a sectional or a sofa love seat. But if it's not two walled, then you have to get creative. So I'm gonna answer this from the Carlsbad point of view because in Carlsbad, we had to, we, we definitely have that, that divider line where we have the regular size sofas and then we have the apartment couches and the apartment sectionals. You remember, you've, you've seen them. Well, yeah, you've been They're over there. They're super yeah, small yeah. sectionals. So we have, we have super small sectionals. We have, um, we've had to, to adapt to the Carlsbad area because a lot of the people that were buying at that point were buying for smaller rental homes or smaller apartments. Mm -hmm. So we had to adapt. Um, we still have big furniture there, but there's a certain section of smaller stuff. And it's, it's funny to see them next to each other because you really don't realize that there's two different sizes of furniture, but there's definitely two sizes of furniture. Um, yep. And, and we, we don't specialize in one particular size. We're, we're here to take them all on, and we have the experience with both of them. And I think that's really important to mention because, for instance, my mother recently purchased an online chair um, it was Ooh. cute, it was a, you know, and the picture just looked like it was going to be perfect. Um, and she ordered it online without seeing it in person and being able to sit on it because online ordering is becoming so popular. Um, but it looked like it was going to fit, it looked like it would fit her decor. And when it arrived, um, and she put it together, it was so tiny. It, <laughs> it was like miniature. Yeah. And so... <laughs> Like Oliver loves it. Like it's perfect Oliver size. Oliver's five. Like I mean, how old is Oliver? Four, right? He'll be six on oh, June fifteenth. Yeah, five. So, uh -huh. yeah, I was right. Time flies, and so I mean, it's kind of like this chair, but it's supposed to be like, like you know, a regular chair, and um, yeah, my mom. It has got a special order in with us because yeah. I was like, Mom, what happened to your chair? And I was like, did it look bigger online? And she goes, oh, yeah. And she was so disappointed when it arrived. And she spent a lot of money on it, a yep. lot of money for that quality of chair, that type of chair. And you should have just, I mean, it was a look of just total disappointment. So. Yeah, you don't um, want to have that let, happen. Let's skip a question because I want to stay on that subject because this came up, OK? A lot of people are buying online. And we had a customer that bought furniture online and dealt with you. And so we want to tell you that when you buy furniture from us online, we have our phone number and everything on there and we have ways of you messaging us. Mm -hmm. But can you tell her how, how you solved that issue or what, what happened? This is like a built-in commercial, but it's pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whenever you run into issues from ordering online, um, as far as tips, I'll just say tip number one is, one, research it to find out the company information. Um, find out the specs of the couches so that you can get the information to how it's built, um, as well as reviews, but measure it. That is key. Um, Secondly, if you order online, understand that you're not going to know what it feels like. You're going to have to trust the write-up that's given with that product. Um, we have had people that come in that when they sit in a couch that may look beautiful for it, when they sit on it, it may not be the feel that they're wanting. Um, so the design of the couch is not going to tell you how it feels. So you're going to want to sit in it to see how it feels if it's a certain feel you're looking for. Um, as far as helping the customer, the key is having them try it. 
Um, it's no different than with our mattresses. When they come in, if they can try something similar to what it is, so if they're looking for a sofa love seat and we happen to have a recliner, that's what I did, <laughs> have them sit in the recliner to the matching sofa love seat, then it still allows them to have the feel. They can feel the quality of it. They know the quality of it. They have the chance to actually inspect it, see the size, the bulk, the flop, the feel. I mean, everything is incorporated in that. Buying blindly is not always a bad experience, but for those who haven't had it, I mean, most of the time we don't have the money to just expend on these options and risk it, um, especially after COVID. I mean, you're wanting something that's gonna last. So coming in and actually researching product, those would be the two things that I would suggest before buying online. Absolutely, and I think that, you know, you can really get stuck in a, a precarious situation if you don't like the item and how do you return it yep. because then you're liable for shipping yep. costs it's huge it's a big item mm -hmm. how are you going to return it then you end up trying to sell it for yourself online under you know some of the options there um and you it becomes a whole just kind of nightmare in itself and a, a buyer's regret um so please remember that we're like a reference library. We even have a computer set up in the middle of our store where you're welcome to sit down. Mm -hmm. um, any of us can sit down with you. We'll go through the websites. We'll put on the filters. Uh, you can give us suggestions and we'll write those down, you know, color, type. And we can, you know, you may not feel comfortable doing that or, you know, it, it may be overwhelming to you. But we can sit down and take the time during our day when it's a little bit slow and, and look for a product and give you some um, options. The other thing is that you may pick out an item and it could be delayed with shipping because of COVID-19. You may be looking out at, you know, six months out uh, because it's back ordered or it's stuck in the ocean and a container that's listing and falling into the ocean. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of crazy things like in 2020. And now Crazy. 2021 is not looking much Different? Different? I don't know. <laughs> I, the first week was like, cool, we're, yeah. And then now it's like, wow. You know, so. <laughs> Get back, focus. <laughs> focus, I'm losing focus. I'm sorry, my 2021 is like, I'm, yeah. So there are so many different reasons for you to come into stores, sit down with us, and we are a reference library. Mm -hmm. You can say, hey, I like that. I had a woman today that really liked this Junipero, but she wanted it to seat eight and not four. So she wanted a giant Junipero. It's there, right? It's We're called, find it's out. called Oxford or something like Ooh, that. Yeah. We do yeah. have so, one that's square too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we can so, find it for you. Yep. So I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take a different route from what they took. Where they're where they're right. I mean it's harder to shop online than it mm -hmm. is to be in the store. But the way that I'm looking at us is like a hybrid of being able to be online and in the store. What I really look at is that we've made ourselves available with the phone calls, with the text messaging, and we also have availability to actually play video or, or talk to you on video mm -hmm. and be able to walk you through the furniture on video. So we are, we, we're definitely a hybrid. Um, I like what you said about being a reference library. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually pretty, that's pretty true. Uh -huh. That's really true. Um, because we, we also have books. Yeah. We don't yeah. just have the online stuff. Yeah. So if, if, if you're not really into the technology and you want to look at a book and flip through that, we got mm -hmm. that too. Yeah, I, think, I yeah. think that's a really good approach. But yeah, I mean, if you are shopping online, yes, they're right. There, there is fear in not getting the right stuff. Don't have that fear with us. Pick up the phone or text mm -hmm. us. Our website has that little text thing where you can just text us. And um, at, during the day, she picks it up, you pick it up, I pick mm -hmm. it up, and we're on it almost immediately because all of us have it on our computers and we have it on our phones as well. So mm -hmm. we're here for you and we can definitely walk you through any kind of sale. Yep. And there's no rush and there's no pressure here. Right. So we have customers that come in and they might be here for an hour or longer. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're built to take you like that. So um, that's kind of the way that we built this is we want to be able to help you. Okay, all right, so next question. I didn't even dig around, I should have dug around. Okay, <laughs> you, you, this, is, this is totally you. Oh no. <laughs> How much time do you guys work on social media? It seems like you're always posting. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so <laughs> working on social media is pretty much a must. Our communicating to you is to share what did we learn. Um, I know we say it all the time. We, we like to read. We like to research. We like to make sure that we have information so that we can inform you so you're an informed buyer. Um, in the process of that, posting what we learn is just as important. Right. So for us... With COVID, we kind of push it a little further because we want you to have the information, but we also want you to know us. We're humans. We're fun. We like to share our <laughs> our unicorns. We like to Yay, share our personalities rainbow. in a way that actually <laughs> brings our team to life. We're not the static computer just, hi, welcome to Live Well. We are, hey, welcome to Live Well. So the difference is we just want to be part of you. Um, <laughs> Never. We want you to be able to relate to us when you read the articles. We want you to be able to relate to us when you walk in the door after reading an article. Um, because we're putting it there for you. I mean, you're the reason. So for us to say um, anything besides we're on social media a lot would be a lie. We mm -hmm. are. We are on social media a lot. We really want to be in the know. We really want to be answering questions. We want to be fulfilling needs, and the only way we know it is by communicating with our team and with our customers, so therefore, we share a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I even had a customer who has become a friend, because it happens a lot in our business, right? Yes. And she was uh, sending oh, man, me a message. Oh, man, has she become on, a friend? Yeah, oh, she's man. become a friend. <laughs> she's awesome. Hi, Ladina. <laughs> um, and she sent me a message, and, you know, and, I'm, and it's on Messenger, Facebook, and she had... Uh, sent me a little request about sheets and I'm answering some of, some of that and, and then she goes, wait, I thought you were at home. And I'm like, oh no, girl, I'm at the store. I live here pretty much. And she's like, oh dang, you're there all day. And I was like, yeah, come on in. So she thought because I was using Facebook Messenger that I was at home and she was gonna wait till I came, like, came back to work. And then as soon as she realized that I was responding on Facebook Messenger from work and doing work, at the same time she's like I am coming over so she did she came over and it was awesome and um, so yeah we have that availability and flexibility in our work day to, mm -hmm. to keep like open communication and um, it's really important because it's really kind of the wave of the future is and I really think that that's more of a way of communicating than actual yeah. phone calls anymore oh yeah definitely mm -hmm. definitely I think I know it starts I have phone calls at home yeah yeah so <laughs> <laughs> I, me. <laughs> with me, with the social media thing, I tell, I tell everybody, we're kind of a, we are a media company that happens to sell mattresses, furnishings, and has a boutique, mm -hmm. but we are and a, a media company and, yeah. and we have a unicorn. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> really? But, but no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but we are, we're a media company that just happens to sell mattresses, furnishings, mm -hmm. and we happen to sell things. But mostly we are a media company because we want to communicate with you. Um, where we don't do the news, but we do new, do the newest things. We do the, do the newest research mm -hmm. and we share that info. Mm -hmm. And yes, we do post a lot. And yes, it's, it's uh, interesting to see what these guys put out. And I tell you, the more you show up, <laughs> the more you have the opportunity of seeing all of our faces um, because we all like to, it's funny because when someone comes in, we all appear on the floor at some point, like all of us, because we want to get to know people as they come in the door as well. And once we've established that communication with you through the computer, we don't stop. Like, you know, day before yesterday, it's funny. I, or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I reached out to one of our customers about one of our candles, and then today her daughter popped in. <laughs> so, yeah, she said the timing was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, it was just one of those things. I just happened to be thinking about her when I was out there, and I looked at the candle, and I was like, this is her favorite. I'm gonna message her, and I messaged her. She had just been thinking about getting candles and was talking with her daughter and her daughter's like, hey, it's meant to be. So her daughter came in today to do the shopping for the it's both funny. of them. Yeah, it's funny. funny. Yeah. We had two customers today, back to back, that came in because they have been watching the fishbowl. I kid you not. Oh dear. So, <laughs> one of them had, I wasn't here last week, so it was just Snoot, my fill-in, right? My, my double. And, um, <laughs> She goes, you weren't in it. And I was like, oh, Snoot was. So, so she came in after seeing that video. Hello again. And, um, and the other customer had also been following us on Facebook. So it's becoming more and more common 
free to watch us here and then you walk in the door and we really appreciate that feedback and yeah we'd, we'd love to continue the conversation and uh, whatever input you have and it's really nice to know that you're that out there and you're listening and then you come in and see us so you're all invited please come see us as much as we're pushing out we're actually trying to soak in when you come to the door yes. i mean that that's the honest truth uh, we hang on every word that you tell us yeah. mm -hmm. i mean literally hang on every word that you tell us i i love like when she's got her her customers become her friends because she's a weirdo <laughs> okay. and they have no choice. She's not a weirdo. <laughs> but she's I'll casual. literally what you guys what you guys will see what you guys will see is me coming out of the office and just hanging out about twenty feet away but I'm listening and I'm like, okay, what's the weirdo telling them? <laughs> And then there's me in the office pointing, hey, stop being hey, nosy. All right, the number one rule of entrepreneurism, and it is always this, is see what your competition is doing and do the opposite. And that's right. how I live my life. Yeah, we are definitely doing the opposite. I do as the a team. opposite yeah. of what everyone else is doing. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> all righty and yes i do give her a hard time but we all love mel we do we all love each other here Aww, we're, we're just you. we're love just a good team we're just a good team hey, all right last question of the night already wait we're supposed to go into intermission well that, that's afterwards this is the, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right New form. so what are the pluses and drawbacks of a power living room set Oh, I got so many stories that. Yeah, so <laughs> you got cats, so dogs. <laughs> so here's here's the deal. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna take this because I know she's gonna attack it. Attack it. I. <laughs> How much time do you got? I am pro power. <laughs> she is not. No. And you are. I've never been able to afford power in my house. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we've got a neutral. So, I'm so like we have. To, like futons. I'm just coming out of my futon stage and into my oh. like, full adulthood. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how we're going to play this. Negative, positive, neutral, okay? It's newbie. Just, it's newbie. not yeah, newbie. Newbie. not negative, but my experience is negative. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so. We had this amazing leather couch that Javi brought home and was our favorite. <laughs> okay, so anytime somebody would come to the door, <laughs> ring the doorbell, you're like, bringing down the chair, bringing down the chair. They're looking at you through the window, the side window, like it's something coming. They're like, um, just a minute. And it's still coming down, coming down, coming down. Then you get up and by the time you get there, they're ready to walk away. That's an issue for me. That was an older one. So in, 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 in Power Couch's defense, that was an older one. Keep going. Sorry. Okay. Another thing is, is if you have to go to the bathroom and you're watching a show and somebody who holds a remote waits to the last minute and then they hit pause, you got to like jump up real quick. Again, wait for it. Okay. That is annoying. I don't have the patience for that. If somebody has an accident and they spill something, because, you know, kids... <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> if your dog again, goes to the back door and scratches to go to the bathroom, wait for again, it. Again, again, an older couch. No. Okay. All right. So, so that was yours. Okay. Okay. That you had the minuses. You said you said pluses and minuses. Okay. All right. Us mamas that have birthed kids. Yeah, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. When you have to pee, you have to go. There's no. You just go. Yeah, that's right. There's no time to wait for it. So <laughs> and, got and, time for that. <laughs> and not only that, your situation, whenever you have like multiple animals and stuff on you, this, that, and the other, and they <laughs> want to jump. <laughs> because <laughs> we have multiple dogs, so you know. And guinea pigs. And she has guinea one. pigs, yeah. Oh, I love my babies. Okay, kids, but, pot, concentrate. Okay, so with that, <laughs> it's like you have one in your lap, the other one wants to come oh. in. Again, wait for it. And then you can get in Okay. And, yeah. It's just, to me, it's an annoyance. I want the chair to go down when I want it down, and I want it to go up when I get it up. And if I have That's to use a little muscle ones. to do it, to kick that chair in as I stand up, you know what? I'm still using some muscle. It's good. So I'm, I'm down for the whole handle pulling. I like okay. That. All right. All right. All right. All right, your turn. Okay. Oh, my uh, turn? No, well, do oh, we go negative? Like... Do we go negative, neutral, then positive? We'll let you go for last. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All okay. Right. All right. Well, I know that it impacted a sale recently. Yes. Oh, I yeah. I actually lost yeah. a sale with some friends. Mm -hmm. Originally they were customers. Friends. They, were they friends. had become customers. Mm -hmm. they, well, they were. <laughs> Sorry, I got that backwards again. It's the beer. 
Yeah, definitely friends. <laughs> <laughs> but we're originally customers, and then some dots got connected, and it's like, wow, what a small world. Right? They're wonderful people, by the way. Yes, hello. And um, so Kathy was like, hey, I really love this couch, and they've been waiting for six months. They've been waiting a while, because these were special orders, yeah, so yeah. yeah. And um, wonderful folks, and so ready to buy. Would have bought that night. And we're talking some really nice couches here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but because of that reason, and she is a go-getter man. She goes, goes and goes and goes, and she is not somebody to, to stay still for very long. And um, I think her husband was like cool and chill with it, but not Kathy. Kathy was like, no, I am not one of those people. And she needed that option to like quick release. Like I want it down so I can go. Same thing. Mm -hmm. It impacted my sales as well. I, I, I know, I know. Okay. So, I've been number one. <laughs> so here's, <laughs> so here's, here's the rundown of it. A power, a power sofa set, a power living room set is quite a bit different from the handle release. Okay. Yes. On the handle release, you can plop it down as fast as your little legs can go. Mm -hmm. Okay. On a power set. They tend to be a higher end set that will do a full lay down. It tends to be a wall hugger. It tends to be uh, a much more Tell well built. Tell what a wall hugger is. It, it, you can put it right up next to your wall and it'll recline and mm -hmm. it'll pull, pull you away from the wall but not so far that you can't get to your, to your table. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they tend to be a higher end. Mm -hmm. They tend to be much better construction and they tend to last you longer. Those are the pluses. The minus is they are slower, not as slow as she's saying because <laughs> the one that we had was older, but they were slower. <laughs> they're, they're, they're slower. They might take where going like this with your legs. Slow sound effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, slow. No, we're, we're, doing, we're doing this with your legs and, and just kind of snapping down the, the chair <laughs> might take a minute. I mean, my minute might take a couple seconds or maybe a second. A minute. The, um, the power, the power sofa will take about five seconds to recline. I mean, we're not talking like a full minute. We're talking five seconds. It goes. Okay. So it's not that bad, but it is, it takes some adjusting. That's a good time to enter the Zen. Yeah, enter you your enter, zen. Enter zen through that moment. So, like, as you're pushing the button, that's when you breathe. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom while I'm holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's good. And I have to say too, when it comes to wall huggers, I definitely love that aspect yes. of it. I have yeah. to say that because when you're right up against a wall, you don't have to centralize your couches and stuff. When they recline, they actually scoop forward so it can uh -huh. lay all the way down and then comes back up. And that is a plus of the power. That is a plus of the power. But besides that. Okay. Nah. There have been times when John and I have gotten stuck in our um, big recliner. Do we want to hear this? Well, yeah. So we don't have any of this right now because we're kind of holding out until the like the big day, and like when we make the big steps of like co coexisting in, in the same place. Yeah. So that's going to be a big step for us. And she's so, talking marriage. Yeah, pretty much. And like, like. Meanwhile, John's I, going like, what? <laughs> I just hadn't bought a couch because I didn't need one yet. <laughs> so we're holding off, I think. I don't know. <laughs> this got awkward real quick. Only oh, because you. Oh, okay. He's not here today, but oh my goodness. Okay, so, so like sometimes we squish on one um, recliner and we have gotten stuck. Oh my gosh. Stuck in it a couple of times. <laughs> and like when we try to get up, you know, it's kind of like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and it's like, <laughs> we can't get up. You know, they're not made for two people. <laughs> yeah. And like one, and we're like stuck in between the arms. We're trying to make it a love seat. And you need it's to really make that. Not, you need a big man recliner, like, like, like over there. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's really, un you. yeah. It's very uncomfortable. And um, <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is that I do not recommend anyone sitting on <laughs> the foot part. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no. Because that happened and he sat on the foot part and I was up here <laughs> and she, <laughs> she got the launched. The foot part, like, with, it gave way 
And this was Christmas night, oh, and no. he, he was sitting on it and talking to me, and then it gave way, and I it totally launched me into his forehead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I almost got knocked, knocked out. It was like, I thought I had a concussion. Because <laughs> our foreheads went boom. So I do not recommend, you know, that you know, and this is an important th- PSA, people. This is an important PSA. This is a learning by example <laughs> moment. Dangerous. Yes. Absolutely dangerous. And there are times when we have the, you know, we have the manual and it's like you get stuck in it and you're like pushing with your feet. Yeah. And if you're small and petite, you can get stuck in those. That's just when a power easy. comes in. And it's like, I got to get out. I got to get out. And you can't. That's and you why just a power. Jump out. No, the key to that yeah. is, is lean forward when you kick. Like you're all in the motion of standing <laughs> up. So if you kick and lean forward at Not the same me. time, this it is gives me. you that inertia. This is me. This it's is me, baby. Physics. Just it's press all, the button. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I'm fine. But let me tell you, if you lived in Texas right now, your power recliner oh, would not be working. Good point. And you wouldn't have been able to enjoy any room in there. Can so. you get stuck in the, oh, you could get stuck in the out position. Uh, you can get stuck, period, with just not Anyways, that okay. <laughs> We're going to go to intermission before this goes further. All right. We'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Bye. Bye. And we're back. And our intermissions are actually excuses for bathroom breaks and beer refills and... Bunions. Yes, lots of bunions. Wow. So that's what our intermissions are for. I wanted so. to do the intermission. Can we, like, stop and start over? Because I thought it would be really funny to come back and have a lot of beads. Have like a lot of beads? extra beads. You you have enough beads. <laughs> you have so many beads, it makes I've me feel like hot. Are you getting hot? Oh my god, I am so hot right now. Oh, oh here we go. Not again, not again, <laughs> not again. No, 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 no. no. Parts, but you're right. It's like, whoa. Okay, this is going to take some skill because I have a horn and beads. This is the this what is you learn section. Level. I know, but I'm learning that I'm really hot. And this under layer is just really tight. Nice. You go, Horn. It's magic. Oh, that is so much better. All right, see, oh, show them your tail. Oh yeah, and I can show you my tail. So pretty. How does this relate to what we learned? Well, I learned that I'm still getting hot at the end of February. Oh, okay. Layers are still Layers. needed. <laughs> layers, turn layers. layers. The layers not to be needed. Okay, so this is a what we learned this week <laughs> section where we learn, where we take what we learned and share it I'm with you. On my tail. And not sitting on our tail. So, Gretch, what did you learn this week? Um, okay, so I have had a week full of a lot of <clears throat> read, type, research, and communicate on the computer. Um, so, with me, I would have to say relations with other vendors because with the boutique, I'm always growing it. And when people come in and tell me, hey, do you have this? If I don't, that gives me very interested. Matter of fact, today I had a gentleman who came into the boutique and asked for something specific that we don't have yet, but we're going to have soon because. She said a gentleman. Yes. We have men coming in here all the time that shop for their women. Big time. So, Big time. Gift certificates. Too. Yep. Gift certificates oh. are a great way. But with that, it gives me red flags that oh we don't have it so i turn around and start researching vendors so i have a couple of vendors actually three that i've been working with all week i'm trying to bring in so we're going to hopefully be expanding again sorry the beers make me (laughs) burp is it really loud because my crunching is really loud in my head and i can't hear you no it's not that loud okay Okay, so anyways so okay her her what we learned yeah she's gonna be bad when she gets them she has them for hours so (laughs) (laughs) so what I learned this week was number one there are a lot of gentlemen that come to the boutique number two she has some really cool stuff coming Um, really cool stuff that she's been working on all week long I cannot wait to do the new item videos on those those are gonna be so much fun yes the other thing I learned is that never leave Melanie alone to do a video on her own because she will literally do this masterpiece where there's <laughs> cut away this and cut away that and I need to use the first three seconds here and use my voice only here. <laughs> yeah, like we had Oliver Stone. We have an Oliver Stone co- production coming on this week's new item. So this oh. week's new item, be on the lookout for it. This girl. <laughs> This girl can direct, produce, and act like 
It was professional. So he, I spent literally, I would say, what, two and a half hours cutting a stupid three minute yeah, video? I didn't hear that at all. But there was a lot of cuts and I had to sit there and be like, okay, and this is what I was thinking. And then I'm supposed to, you're supposed to transition, slow it down. Like, no, not like 70%, now 60%. Oh wait, I like it at 80. There was a lot of details. And then <clears throat> I did get a lot of comments that I'm a little bit toned down. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Just wait till you see it this week on Wednesday. <laughs> it's not really. Uh, new item videos come out every Wednesday. This week's new item video, th th she took production to a whole nother <laughs> level. And, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I for, quite frankly, I think I deserve stuff. an award for the editing on this. So, yes. Yes. So, editor's award. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the other thing I learned this week was I had my appointment, and you guys will hear about it on, um, on Sleep Coach. But I had my appointment for my sleep study. Mm -hmm. So my sleep study is on May 2nd. Yep. Um, I learned a lot from that appointment. <clears throat> um, they, they actually measure your neck and measure the opening of your, of your airway. They measure so much. They, lots of cool little questions and lots of scales. I'll share that on Sleep Coach tomorrow morning. And it'll, that Sleep Coach comes out. When does Sleep Coach come out? Fridays? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you'll see Sleep Coach on Friday of this coming week. And that'll have a lot to do with the whole uh, uh, sleep apnea thing. So, what did you learn? I learned something very unfortunate, but maybe fortunate. Which is, you can go from having, like, the perfect bed. We've talked about this in previous conversations with me and my bed. Um, to where I'm sleeping on a cloud. And I love my bed. To not being able to sleep at night at all. For, like, multiple nights in a row. And starting to think of, okay, so what is happening is I, I went, I started waking up in the middle of the night, right? Thinking that maybe it was the like change between REM and different sleep cycles. You know, a lot of us do wake up at three o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And so we get an interruption um, at nighttime. And so I thought, well, maybe this is just my time to be awake, embrace it, and then go back to bed. <clears throat> Well, I was being rudely awakened. I started the, the the awakening started being a little bit more, like not so good, and then it's progressed over several months um, to where then I started just my back is hurting, my shoulders are hurting, um, can't get comfortable anywhere, no matter how I sleep, and <clears throat> I literally the last couple of nights went in and started sleeping in my recliner because I needed to sleep up and. Uh, I've discovered that my gallbladder and my liver are not very happy. So that's kind of something that's been going on. And where I was when Snoot was, was filling in for me was I just was not feeling as sparkly in my normal self. And Her <clears throat> unicorn horn was drooping. My unicorn horn was like wilted. Crooked. Yeah, it was wilting. It and was I'm like, just, my sparkles were gone and I was wearing a lot of gray because <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Oh, I actually thought so, she looked good in gray, but she's like, but I'm not sparkly. <laughs> it's like, yes. I'm not supposed to wear gray. Um, so, yeah, like my sleep cycles were getting interrupted. And so I started doing a little bit more reading. And then as I've been going to regular doctor visits and they've been, you know, going through a lot of different tests and trying to figure stuff out and pinpoint stuff. Um, some of that has come back and like how an unhappy gallbladder and liver can affect your sleep cycles and wake you up at night and when it's active afterwards. Because if you think we're like, we're eating all kinds of stuff during the daytime and then when we go to lay down is when our body is gonna rid those toxins and process things. And then during our um, um, circadian cycles mm -hmm. and our sleep cycles, we have a lot of hormonal re releases and there's a lot of processes that happen during those sleep hours. And even if you were to kind of transverse from Western medicine into Chinese medicine, you know, they put a lot of emphasis on the liver and the gallbladder as a region. It's a whole, it's a whole dishwashing. Yeah, it's a whole dishwashing your day away, right? Yeah, and so like the hours, you know, that I was awake or I can't fall asleep, I'm having like trouble falling asleep. And then when I finally do fall asleep, I wake up and yeah. So all of that is connected and what I really want to emphasize to you is that um, you may have an awesome bed, you may purchase that bed, and then six months from now, you may be in so much pain, but take a holistic approach about that. Is it the bed? Is it a warranty issue? Or has your body changed over that six months 
And maybe before thinking about changing your bed, you know, if you've invested a lot of money into it, go see your doctor and start mentioning some of these smaller things and have some tests done. I know that we've all been staying at home. We've all been putting off a lot of these doctor visits. You know, the doctors don't want you to do that. They want you to come in because this, these are really important things that can affect your daily mm -hmm. routine, your nightly routine. So we, we've yeah. scolded we've scolded <laughs> Mel because she has put this off for quite a while. I have. And, and but we praised her too because she's getting full she, panel. Like yeah. she wants to figure it all out. Yeah, she she's in. going she's mm -hmm. going all in. She went from she went from oh I don't have a problem to oh my gosh. Uncle so, Yeah, so <laughs> yes. she's crying uncle. uncle. She's she's doing the right thing mm -hmm. and and uh, we, we, we love her to death and we don't want her to be hurting anymore. So yeah, that's why she was missing last Friday mm -hmm. and um, now she's back. She's not a totally rainbow unicorn yet, but she's getting there. I'm getting my unicorn nest back because I'm yeah. getting some answers. Good, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. yeah, good. And I so. don't have to get rid of my bed. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love my bed and my pillow. Oh, you and the pillow. I love my pillow. You and that pillow. You I'll and that pillow. I'll take carbon cool. Carbon cool. <laughs> Yes. Anyways, but that's what we learned this week. So um, we leave you now uh, with our weekly bloopers. There's two of them, and we appreciate you guys watching this video. Please share and comment. We would appreciate any comments, any questions. We always get questions. We always love questions. So yeah, um, you guys like have a wonderful week. <clears throat> Definitely like us, share yep. our content, mm -hmm. subscribe. Go to our website yes. www.livewellfurnishings with an s. With an com. s. Uh -huh. com. Right. Until next week, have a wonderful week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Headrest means that the headrest itself comes to meet your head when you're reclining. Right now I have it all the way up, but let me show you the difference between this and not having a power headrest. I'm going to bring it down. So now my head's coming back and I'm no longer looking at the TV. Now I can look at the TV. Watch this. I'm looking at the TV. Is that not? Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, <laughs> well there's your blooper for this week. Okay.